Uh, this morning, we're just going to go over a uh, mop up, which is what our crews are going to be doing for the next couple weeks here. Um, it is usually the final third stage of the wildfire suppression. So usually once we have the progression of the fire kind of stopped or halted, uh, we try to get in a dozer line or a hand line that you see here. Our crews will then come in and try to work the first 60 feet of that line to try to mop up any sort of heat that may exist. And that's going to go through one of several stages. One is the crews are usually almost going to get down on their hands and knees and feel with their hands in the black along the edge of the leaf litter to see if they can find any heat. They'll also be checking logs to see if the logs are burning, especially on the undersides. And they're going to be feeling around in stump holes to make sure that there's no heat or fire left in those stump holes. So just along on the edge of the leaf litter, crews are just going to be getting down. They're going to be working along this edge of the black into where the leaves haven't burned. They're going to be feeling for any sort of heat or embers. The moment they find embers, it's going to burn their hand a little bit, which is why none of them are going to be wearing gloves in this stage is because they have to feel for that heat. Once they find embers, they're going to take their hand tool. They're going to start digging down into the dirt and then start mixing the embers in with the dirt. And that right there is the true stage of mop up is just using that wet, dry dirt, or hopefully it's just wet dirt and mixing those embers in to extinguish them. Uh, these embers can just creep around in the leaf litter, not just hours, but can be days and up to a week. So it's important for our firefighters to get their hands into the leaf litter to actually feel where that heat is. Logs are particularly problematic, so they're going to be literally cold trailing. Anything that's black on these logs, they're going to be feeling for heat to make sure there's no heat left in the log. They're particularly going to be looking up underneath the log, scraping out any sort of needle cast, duff, loose bark, to make sure all that heat is gone. If we discover that part of the log is still burning, we're going to have um, firefighters with chainsaws come in. They're going to cut that log where it's burning separate it that way the rest of the log can no longer burn and then the firefighters will go ahead and mop up that heat that's on the log they may just be using wet dirt or they may be supported by fire engines and actually spraying water onto it so stump holes are particularly problematic because they can burn for days and even weeks on time our crews have to be very careful walking in and around because it can be an ash layer that can be one two or three feet deep so crews have to be particularly uh, careful as they negotiate around stump holes. Again, they're just gonna take their gloves off. They're gonna start feeling around in the stump hole. They're gonna be digging down into the ash and a little bit into the soil, and they're gonna be looking for any heat that they can find. Once they find heat or evidence of heat, they're gonna sit there and try to actually dig out the stump hole to find the source of the heat. One of the problems with the stump pole is that it can actually follow the root system. So you can see firefighters start in where the stump is and then follow a route that may go five, 10, even 20 feet away before they can finally find the burning end of the route. That's where these stump holes are really important because there are times under extreme drought conditions where that fire can follow the root system and it may actually go underneath our hand line and pop up on the other side of our containment line. So this is where it's really important for firefighters to get into those stump holes, really feel around to make sure that there's no heat left into it. This is where it takes our fire crews several days or maybe even several weeks after it appears that the fire has stopped because they have to go through and check all of these stump holes to make sure that they are out. So these are the three stages of mop up that we'll be performing. And even though the fire appears like it's out, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done out here.